Hey family, I hope you all are doing well. Um, this is my second attempt at a video for you guys. The other one was just too long. Um, it was long-winded. Anyways, you guys, I don't know if you guys are noticing that this. Um, I, I'm 99% of the time at home, okay? Um, I, I don't go out like other than to doctor's appointments and stuff. Um, for me to go out to eat, it, that's a very rare thing. Um, but I had a friend take me out to um, lunch the other day. And I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but like somebody that was in the booth diagonal for me, like their eyes were literally black. You know, they looked angry. They were like slouched down in their chair, like, and kept staring over at me with, with the most angriest look ever, you know, and I'm normally, I smile easy, you know, I'm, I'm real, pretty much a happy person most of the time. Um, but anyways, I look around and it was weird. It was really weird, like seeing people being so angry. And like, that's just the feeling that I got. Like, they were mad and not happy. And, you know, the, the thing that I noticed is that they were out, they were without Christ. Like, you know, if you're in Christ, you're not going to look like that, at, like at all. Like, the, there is a joy and a peace in your heart. And that, and these people didn't have it. And that was the majority of the room. Like, they were truly in lack, and it and it was almost scary, especially the one person that was sitting diagonal, like looking at me, like I did something wrong. Um, there was a hate there, and you know I, I'm very fortunate. I I'm very I felt very very safe with my friend. Um, he would never let anybody hurt me. So, but it was just scary, just really really scary um, to see that that. I don't know if you guys are doing it. If so, leave a comment and let me know your experience. Um, I noticed like my videos don't get a lot of views anymore and I lose more subscribers every day. And I don't know if that's because people don't like what I say. You know, I, I'm not a teacher or a preacher or anything like that. I only share what I learn, you know, what the Holy Spirit leads me to share. And some of it may be hard to hit here, but if you're truly a believer in Christ, you're going to have a teachable heart. You know, you're not going to, you know, attack me and say, oh, you're, you know, the devil or something, you know, like, I, I just delete you and hide you from my channel because um, it doesn't matter to me. I pray for you, you know, but um, I, I don't want to to see evil. You know, I, I want no part of it. I don't watch scary movies or evil movies and stuff like that. The, the ads that they show on YouTube in between, like, usually make me cringe. I mean, what is this mood, you know? Um, gummies. I mean, it's everywhere, like mood. They just want to change your mood. They want everybody's mood to change. Why? So they, they are ignorant to what's going on around the world, you know? Jesus calls us to be sober-minded, especially in these end days, and not to be deceived. It's everywhere we look, you know, everywhere. Um, I want to just sh share one thing with you guys. Um, I don't know if, you know, if you've ever uh, used an amplified study Bible. Um, 20 some years ago when I was taking a religion class in college, um, I had to have an amplified Bible uh, for a class. And I found it so helpful to understand certain verses like, like you read it and you're like, what in the world does that mean? And you could read the verse before, and the and it, it may not just register, but they have parallel uh, Bibles. So, like, let's say you have a KJV version of a Bible, um, you can get a KJV 
in an amplified parallel and literally see the verses um, side by side. Let me just hold this up. So like this side is KJV and this side is amplified. And you know, the hard covers are cheaper than, um, you know, like a leather bound and stuff like that. I like hard covers, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, and I'm not about spending money uh, to do this. And I know right now, uh, you know, people that are buying Bibles are on the watch list, which really makes me, you know, want to buy a bunch of Bibles. <laughs> if I could, I would. Um, I have other things, you know, to worry about. And th that leads me into this. Um, you know, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> Side note, my basement's flooding right now. And that is it, it's the the privilege of having a very old house that that happens. But anyway, I want to say with all of my heart, um, just a big thank you to everyone who has donated to help Charlie and I. Um, words, there really are no words to how I feel, you know, um, how much it means to me and Charlie, because um, I'm not used to being in this position, you know. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I, I drive a truck, you know, for asphalt and concrete. I make good money. Um, I was able to help other people. I, it's, you know, you, you learn to be humble, you know, um, and very, very grateful that there are people that love you enough without even knowing you to say, here, I, I can help you. And uh, and I don't mean to be a big crybaby. The older I get, the more I cry. Um, but thank you. Uh, you know, I, I struggle to write words of things because it, it really just doesn't, it doesn't show how I feel or how much it truly means. And I, I would like to t tell you guys that I do have enough for the deposit. Um, I'm not gonna put the deposit down yet though. I'm gonna wait until I have all the funds just to pay for it all outright. Um, because when you put the deposit down, you set a date for tr training. And um, I, I won't know, you know when I would have the rest of it, but um, thank you. Um, you know, this week is a really big week for me. Starting tomorrow, um, I have the diagnostic mammograms with ultrasounds. And uh, Tuesday, I have the motility specialist. Uh, that one, I know there's going to be a surgery involved. Um, I also have Barrett's esophagus. Uh, yeah, another, another problem. Um, back in 2008, they did a Nissan fundiplication because the, the acid reflux, and I always tell people, you know what, see your doctor if you have reflux because I, they tried to treat it for like 10, 15 years. And what happened was like my stomach was like going up into my esophagus and it's not supposed to do that. It, it will cause esophageal cancer. So a Nissan fund application, they take um, the top part of your stomach and wrap it around your esophagus to create a flap. So that way the reflux doesn't come back up. Well, for eight. <laughs> Charlie's got a big old bark. It's the cat, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, here. It's the cat. She probably has a hairball. Hey, Charlie. He is so like a, if he's never heard the cat try to cough up a hairball. Come here, Charlie. Hurry up. Come on. Come on, you big goof. Come here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> His ears always flop over. Um, I forget what I was saying. Uh, I'm 
See, I have zero memory. Oh, the mo the surgery. Um, I don't know if they will redo the the Nissan or end up giving me a feeding tube or what. Um, the biggest thing is, um, you know, now like after that surgery, I couldn't throw up, I couldn't burp or anything. I now can do all of that, and I take protonics twice a day on top of that. Um, so yeah, he's so big for five months. Oh my goodness. Uh, he's got legs for days. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Wednesday, I have the pulmonary function test uh, because my sleep test showed my me having hot, hypoxemia, low oxygen in uh, my blood. So, like, there was a time even for, like, 15 minutes, it was, like, 83. You would think they'd wake me up, but they didn't. So, I have that hypoxemia and... Uh, hypersomnia so I have that on Wednesday and then of course I have infusion on Friday and if you all could please just keep me in your prayers because I just feel like every day is going to be like some sort of bad news and um, you know I've really I've had my fair share of health problems I, I really don't need any more you know if you saw my chart it, there's probably over 30 things on there that, like, how many things can I have? <laughs> but anyways, um, also, you know, I've noticed I've lost a lot of subscribers. And my, my, you know, I don't expect a lot of views. I really don't. Um, and I don't expect a lot of subscribers either. You know, I'm not one of those people or that say I'm a prophetess, you know, or, you know, telling you, my dreams all the time. I, I only have them sometimes. I'm, I'm not blessed to have them every night. Um, and, you know, as far as teaching goes, you know, I, I taught Sunday school and that's like my comfort level. I am, you know, I'm not going to talk elo eloquently. I am going to be the person that talks in layman's terms, you know, and a lot of people like to say, you know, we're not under the law. You know, and they get mad at me when I say, you know, you can't have your sin in Jesus too. You, if you're a believer in Christ, you're going to have a teachable heart. And if you're in love with Christ, your desire is going to be obedient to pick up your cross, to say no to whatever sin is in your life and follow him. You know, that's just the way it is. And if you're not being convicted, Maybe you need to reevaluate, you know, uh, where you are in your walk. Are you loving him with all your heart, mind, and soul? I mean, that's the, the biggest commandment. And the next one is to love thy neighbor as thyself. So, you know, you may not agree with something I say, but if you're loving God and loving your neighbor, you're not going to leave horrible comments below. You know, you're not. I will just delete them and hide them, hide the user for my channel because I don't like to look at evil. I don't like hate. I don't like scary movies or evil movies. You know, I don't even like to listen to the commercials before, you know, like you get to skip it on YouTube. I mean, what, what is with this mood gummy thingy? I mean, constantly over and over and over take this mood for this this mood for that like serious they just want us to not pay attention to what's really going on in the world you know they don't want us to be sober minded like jesus calls us to be we are to be sober minded and in the word you know and sharing the love of jesus with everyone all the time you know um you know and like i said um i think i said if I talked about the Amplified Bible, um, I hope I did. My memory's horrible. But anyways, I don't want to keep this long, and it's already kind of long. I love you guys. I pray for each and every one of you. And, you know, I, I pray that God is with you and gives you a heart that is willing to learn and to share the love of Christ. 
I pray for your children, your family, your friends, you know, that they will all come to know him too. These are our last days. He can come at any moment. I know I pray for it every day. I know most of you do too. Um, you know, I always think, you know, if you came today, I wouldn't have to go to all these appointments, <laughs> you know. But um, we're here, and while we're here, let's be about God's business and uh, share the love of Christ. Share the gospel. It's found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus was fully flesh and human. He died on the cross for our sins. He was dead and buried, and he rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. It is hearing that and believing in that that saves us. You know, um, some people don't like to hear, oh, ex accepting Jesus as your Savior. But when you hear the gospel, you have a choice. You have a choice to believe it or not. To believe that he is your Savior. To lean on him with all you got and love him with all of you got. You know, you have those choices. Anyways, I love you guys. Be blessed. And uh, soon we'll be in the sky. Bye.